It's 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 sealed. It's never been opened before. To find sealed games back to back at the thrift at Goodwill, and I saw a game, guys. I saw a game that I knew had some value. <laughs> What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to another episode of the $10 Game Collection Challenge. Season 2. We are on a quest to build the largest N64 collection possible, starting off with just a $10 build, only to give you guys the entire collection at the end of the series in December. Now, we have sold quite a few things, and we have some updates, so let's jump into it. Getting into a very quick update. Last episode, we left off with $606.35 in the game fund, and we have sold quite a few things. We sold some DVDs on eBay. We sold Spice World for 30 bucks, Dogma for 10, and Rose Red for 14. And then we also sold quite a few things on our last Whatnot stream in the Buy It Now section at the fair market value. We sold a Switch for 225. We sold some Wii games and Xbox 360 games. Uh, giving us a grand total of 396 in sales, but we have to deduct uh, fees. So we net 340, giving us a grand total of 946.35, which is a healthy budget. I'm excited about that for a couple different reasons. The first reason being, I'm about to head to Southeast Game Exchange. It's a huge retro video game convention in South Carolina, and I'm pumped about that for a couple different reasons. I'm going to be in a panel, which is cool, and I get to game hunt, and I get to meet all of you guys, which is awesome. Awesome. But the thing is, game hunting for N64 games is getting harder and harder. So to go to a place where I can actually find some more of the staples that I need uh, to add to the $10 game collection I just have not found yet is really exciting, especially with that kind of budget. So really, the name of the game this week is to find either cheap N64 games or find more items to flip to, to keep this budget or maybe even get it to near $1,000. Have $1,000 to shop at Southeast Game Exchange for N64 games would be sweet. So that is the game plan for the episode. All right, no games at this Goodwill. There's not one, not one single game, unfortunately. But there is a movie that, first of all, is one of my favorite movies from the 90s. Does not get enough love. Freaking Martin Short Clifford. My name is Clifford, and I think you're the bestest captain in the whole wide world. Well, thank you. Now, I have sold this movie quite a few times. It doesn't have crazy value, but it's around 12 to 14, and this is only going to be two bucks. So quick flip and it's a movie that I love. So I'm on board. So let's make a quick 10 to 12 bucks. All right, rolling into game exchange. Have not found anything here in a long time, but never know. Let's go to the common games first. Let's see what we got over here. Looks like almost all sports games. And let's go to the glass case with the more expensive games for Transformers. Trans Metals in Carmageddon. Two pretty hard games to get, but they're pretty messed up. I, I think I'm gonna pass today, but dang. If those weren't so messed up, I'd totally get those. All right, so I'm at the Salvation Army. Games are three bucks, and there are a couple games over here. Nothing to write home about. I was interested in this guy. Uh, the fight lights out, but no value there. The Godfather, one of these Godfather games, I think it's like, there's like a special edition one. It's worth quite a bit, but I think this sells for like seven or eight bucks. So not really worth getting for three. And then here's Just Dance 4. Now this used to sell really well or trade in really well to GameStop. I'm not sure what it trades in for anymore. Almost didn't even look at it because yeah, three bucks is probably not worth it. Check this out. It's 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 sealed. It's never been opened before. It's a little dirty, but I think that can just be wiped off. But I think in sealed condition, this sells for roughly 20 to 25 bucks. So for three, uh, definitely gonna get this. So yeah, hopefully we'll make about 20 bucks on this. Three bucks, let's go. All right, have an interesting situation here. Uh, got some games, got some games at Goodwill. Just found that Just Dance 4 sealed at Salvation Army. Don't ever see sealed games. We have another sealed game right here, but before we get to that, we have a couple decent games. We have Ultimate Alliance on PS2. This is complete. It is unmarked. So this will be two bucks, which 
I mean, it's worth like eight to 10. So for two, I think I think we'll get that one. We got Vice City. I mean, one of the best games of all time. If you don't think so, what are you talking about? Such a great game, but it's way too scratched. Same thing with San Andreas. So if these weren't totally destroyed, I would get those. Now this one, this is Hot Shots Golf 3. Love this game so much. This is, this is sealed. Like just got that Just Dance game um, at the Salvation Army. It's got the hang tab. Now the only thing is it's got a little tear right there. That's the only thing I see on it that's like damaged or anything like that. It's still pretty good. It's, it is marked 494. So that is a little bit of a bummer, but I mean, I don't think I can pass up a sealed PS2 game. What year is this? At this point, this thing is what, 20, 20 years old, 2002. So I gotta get that. 494 plus this, I mean, that's a good deal. To find sealed games back to back at the thrift is freaking wild. All right, guys, in my hand, I have a heavy hitter N64 game that we get to add to the $10 game collection. I'm pumped about this. So basically a subscriber reached out and asked if I wanted to make a trade. Now I will say generally, I don't really wanna make trades. I've even had people ask to donate games to the $10 game collection. Now, while I appreciate the support and the thought, I really, I don't wanna do that because I'm trying to keep this whole series as relatable as possible. So even trades, I don't even kinda of wanna dabble into. Well, he was interested in the Zelda 3D uh, console handheld that I had and I hadn't sold it yet I asked what game he had this game is worth the exact same amount as the Zelda 3DS. The Zelda 3DS is worth 140, this game is worth 140. So it was basically an even split and I was like, yes, let's do this. So this package is from Thomas and he actually added something for my son in here. He showed it to me and it's super rad. So what we have here is a bootleg Power Ranger figure made in Taiwan. This thing is girthy. It's got so much weight, almost feels metal. And apparently it had like, it has a flint in it and you could basically like spark that a little middle section, kind of like a stone protector. So that is super cool. I don't even know if I'm gonna let my son have this. I'm just gonna put this up on the Power Ranger shelf because that thing is sick. Now let's get into this game, y'all. Conquer's Bad Fur Day, and it's got this really rad blockbuster sticker. In Conquer's Bad Fur Day for your N64. Now, I don't think I'm going to try to remove that. I think I'm just gonna keep it as is because, uh, yeah, I just think it's cool. We'll keep it on there. It does seem to be authentic and looks good. So there we go, guys. Conquer's Bad Fur Day, I think we paid $55 for that Zelda 3DS and we traded it for this. Thank you again, Thomas, for the trade. All right, I'm at a pawn shop right now and they have a ton of games, usually Xbox One, PS4, you know, they get like 10 bucks each. So I don't even usually look at those, but they do have a lot of Xbox 360, PS2, there's a SmackDown game. PS2, Xbox 360. Uh, three bucks, please. Three bucks. If I picked out a couple, would you make me a deal? Uh, probably. Okay. Uh, let me look at uh, the counter and then that one right there, the black one, yeah. And then, let's see. Smackdown game right there, it's the red PS2 game. And then these two Left 4 Deads right there. Four for 10 if I can find another one, I guess. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Um, that, that one. one, yeah, let's, let's check that one out. Yeah, that's great. So a quick little pawn shop pickup. He ended up giving us a game for free. They were three bucks each, and he gave us four games for $9.17. And we have some good games here. We got Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead, two amazing games on the Xbox 360, and both of these are complete. Now, these used to sell for around like 15 to 17 bucks. They have went down at this point. Um, they're more like around the 10 to 12, uh, but got both of those. And then we got Dragon's Dogma. I completely guessed on this. It's hard for me to look up games because I'm filming with my phone. So it just makes it difficult sometimes. I usually just go for the games that I know are worth something or uh, I go for like Capcom games and just things that look a little more obscure. Dragon's Dogma, unfortunately it's only worth eight bucks, but again, uh, we got a really great deal on all these. And then Fantasy Star Online episode one and two on the original Xbox. This is selling for around 14 bucks and it is complete even has the little registration card. So all in, we spent $9.17 with a value of roughly 42 bucks. 
So this is a different Goodwill I've not been to in a long time. This was like my main Goodwill back in the day, but as you can see, the uh, selection is very minimal. Uh, there are some anime DVDs over here. Usually anime stuff does pretty well, but none of these have any value. I don't know what this exact series is, but uh, no value there. But this one right here is an interesting one. Uh, I, I don't know what this is at all, but I looked it up and I think I saw one sell for like 21, but the kicker is, there's only a couple listed on eBay, and I think the cheapest one is 25. So, you know, let's throw this up there for around 20 bucks. It's only $2, and hopefully we'll make about 15 or so. This, I can get into. I think we'll sit on it for a little bit, but uh, that's okay. For two bucks, can't beat that. At Goodwill, and I saw a game, guys. I saw a game that I knew had some value. Most people overlook these games. You got Madden 09, you got MLB The Show 09. Those are not worth anything, but right next to it is Madden 12. Yes, I know, it sounds insane that Madden games actually have value. This is the last Madden game that was released on the PS2. Check this out. And it is complete. This is selling roughly for 25, 30 plus if it's complete and in good shape. And this thing is mint, guys. Do not overlook some of these sports games. Uh, they have some major value, only four bucks. Let's go. So this is a Goodwill in Northwest Arkansas. I go up there to visit my buddy, Carrie. We're going to all the thrift stores, all the Goodwills. We actually filmed 12 videos while we are here. Um, but this is the first Goodwill stop of the day. And we're looking at the video games. And right back here, you're gonna be able to see a red game, a red, some kind of red case. So that is gonna be very important here in just a little bit. We head over to the VHS, the DVDs. We don't really see much other than this Power Rangers DVD that I picked up for my buddy boy. I got that for my son. And then we go over here and look at all the shirts. I'm obsessed with shirts right now, specifically vintage shirts, anything gaming related. I'm just really, really into it. So we look at those and then we head back up to the video oh, games. Yeah. Uh, can you guess what, Carrie? This is so cool. Well, that turned out to be an amazing trip to Goodwill. Uh, it did. In the case, I saw the red. I saw the red. Maybe Super Mario Bros. Maybe. Well, not only is it new Super Mario Bros. on the Wii, it's sealed. And the seal looks really, really good. I think, Carrie, you saw how much? 50 to 70. It was at anywhere least. from like 55 to like 90 kind of a wide range. I mean, sealed games at Goodwill, especially a good one. So we will flip this, make some decent money, and uh, hopefully the good luck continues the rest of the day. So it might not look like a crazy week out there hunting, but it was a solid week. We only spent $34.10 with a grand total of $350 in value, with the highlight being the new Super Mario Bros on the Wii sealed. Cannot believe we found that, and I'm stoked to add Conker's Bad Fur Day to the collection. Now we are sitting at just over $900 in the game fund with more stuff to sell and flip to add more money back into the game fund, which is a good thing because we're headed to Siege. Gonna go N64 shopping. It's gonna be a blast. If you are there, please say hello. Appreciate you guys as always for checking out the video. I'm gonna send you guys over to some footage that you're gonna see in an upcoming video very soon. Dang, Carrie. Oh Dang, Carrie. Dude, is that Riker? under 50 bucks, that Mario? It's 35. That's a great price on him, man. Hey, Carrie, I'm about to spend so much money. Okay, this thing is awesome. Can I have it? Look at, it's 1980, is it eight? 1988 Super know. Mario Cup.